How are y'all enjoying Overwatch 2? I'm a little quick, and I finally managed to play some Overwatch 2 on Shadow. Before we hop on Cloud, I took a peek at my Battle.net account to see what it looks like now that Overwatch is gone. As an owner of the original Overwatch, I've got all the characters, I can hop into any game mode. I do like the fact that I can merge my PlayStation and PC inventories. That's something I've wanted for a long time. What is weird is that I'm missing most of my skins and unlockables. Google says don't worry about it, Blizzard's on it, so I'll do without. Everything else looks basically the same as it did the last time I played. I hop into Quick Play. We've got a tank in support, so I actually get to play my favorite character for once. I'm having a good time, but the game feels the same. You sure this is a sequel? I'm one of those folks who miss the old quality and fun first development style of Blizzard Entertainment before they were purchased by Activision. Nowadays I just ignore them, so I haven't been keeping up with all the news. Blizzard and I aren't exactly on speaking terms anymore, so forgive me if I react to or learn something that seems common knowledge. Now tread carefully when using Battle.net in the cloud. We've already sacrificed one game to their ban hammer for playing, and we don't want to light any more money on fire. It's also going to be important to see what the new free-to-play folks are going to experience. Time to create a new account. I'm sure you've all heard, but you need a specific kind of phone number in order to play Overwatch 2. If you're a kid without a cell phone, you better hope your parents don't have their own accounts. You like prepaid phone services? Tough luck. Too poor to have a cell phone? Then you're probably too poor to buy a battle pass. Beat it, peasant. I guess free is only free if you meet certain economic requirements. So how did it go? Well, let's just say my number didn't work, my backup number didn't work, and I had to go through a few family members until Blizzard accepted a phone number and let me play the damn game. And these weren't burner phones or Google numbers. For example, one phone had been a postpaid account in the same person's name for 22 years. I figured that one would be foolproof, but it didn't work. Maybe it's not some kind of sinister exclusion policy. Maybe it's just incompetence or system failure. Anyway, as someone trying to set up a new account, it's been a pain, but we did it. This is day two of launch, so the Q-Boss should have way less HP before we slay it and get into the game proper. 45 minutes later, we're in. The intro plays with Winston doing his thing, and for some reason, I was expecting a new intro. Blizzard used to be renowned for their cool cinematic introductions. Every game, sequel, and expansion to a franchise has always had a cool cinematic. And this is since the days of Warcraft 2 in 1995. It's not a big deal, but it was a mark of their excellence. As a free-to-play account, I will have to endure some basic training and games. I see that most of the basic heroes are locked behind various achievements. If I want to play Ash, I'm going to need to play for a while. Granted, there's nothing really to whine about here because the new players won't know what they've never tried, and they'll simply pick the available characters. Let's talk about Shadow. We're on the basic Shadow tier, no upgrades or anything. Shadow's hardware is getting pretty dated. It has trouble running the newest and hottest games, sometimes even in 1080p. So naturally, I'm going to put Overwatch 2 on 4K and run it with high and ultra settings. It plays great. I played 1 vs AI and 3 casual PvP games. I'm on 4K res at 60 FPS the whole time. No stuttering, no loss of visual quality, no lag. Everything runs smooth. Shadow's killing it on this new game. And to Blizzard's credit, once you beat the Q-Boss, the game servers are smooth as well. It plays just as well as I remember Overwatch 1 playing. Okay, seriously, I think I'm taking crazy pills. Why is this a sequel? It's the same game. Overwatch was already easy for computers to run when it came out six years ago. Shadow running this with old tech makes perfect sense, because I'm pretty sure I'm just playing Overwatch 1 with less people in the game. Maybe Valve should release Team Fortress 2 again, slap a battle pass on it, remove most of the characters, boom! Instant Team Fortress 3. No more can't count to three jokes, Valve. <sighs> Back to the review. I have no noticeable latency issues messing with my controls. The game's actually pretty fun. I'm not a big FPS guy, but I like cooperative team games like Vermintide or Overwatch. As much as I'm taking the piss out of it, it's still a great game. It's just, you know, the same game. As for Shadow, their latency to me is low, and their latency to the Overwatch servers is also low, so it's a good way to enjoy the game. A+. If you liked Overwatch before, you'll still like Overwatch. I'm sure the meta has shifted, and yeah, the servers are on fire, and there's a massive queue, and you might not have all your stuff you farmed or bought in Overwatch 1, but once you get past the fact that Activision has seemingly released the same game, but with a brand new set of classic Blizzard launch problems, you're going to have a good time. Overwatch 2, just like <clears throat> Overwatch 1, saves all your stats, inventory, and progress server-side, so you're not going to have to worry about your cloud saves or anything. If you play on Shadow or any other cloud service, your saves are not going to be an issue. And if you're close to a Shadow server hub, they will absolutely take care of you and let you play to your full potential. It runs perfectly, even in 4K. The app is easy, the controls are smooth and perfect. You know, just like Overwatch 1. 
I absolutely recommend Shadow as a service to play Overwatch 2, as long as Blizzard doesn't enforce that no cloud gaming policy. Since their hardware was top of the line when Overwatch was released, it performs like top of the line hardware playing it today. Alright, I've deposited enough salt here to preserve a corpse, so feel free to add your own sugar or whatever spice to the discussion in the comments. Please spare me a like if you dig the content. We offer commentary, keep up with industry news, and test cloud services. Subscribe to keep it tuned right here to the only place you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. I'm Little Quick, and I'm hoping Valve doesn't take my joke about Team Fortress 3 seriously.